We are here to represent Wanda and Gobble. This is our second video now. What you see behind us is a very big fest which happens every year. Every October. Okay. And beer fans especially around the world wait for this month. right? Because October is the month for October Fest. And we are out here celebrating October Fest that's been organized by the Indo-German Chamber of Commerce. And this is one of the most genuine October fairs out there. A lot of the expats who work here in our city of Mumbai, they bring uh, their families here to celebrate yeah. October fairs. JP has read up very diligently on the history of October fairs, which he's going to tell you now. It's a community event where Germans actually come and get together. And approximately the figures which has been quoted in uh, Wikipedia or so, like seven and a half million liter has been consumed every every such October fest. But if I look at India, I will specifically mention that can cross like two times or three times because Indians like to have beer because of the climate and it's damn hot. Yeah. October is known to be a hot month and it is damn hot. So we are eager to get our roads wet. Yeah. So we are going to get in there and grab some beer. So come along with us. What we got here is one of the German specialities. And we're, we're at Oktoberfest. We have to do all things German, right? Yes. So the first sausage that we got, we're gonna try our best to pronounce it right. It's called as a Krakauer. Okay. Correct. So the history of this uh, sausage is that it's a German sausage, but originated in Krakow. It used to be known as Krakowska. Yeah. And it's currently pronounced as Krakauer. Traditionally a pork sausage, but we're gonna yeah. figure out what this is, right? So go for it, man. Okay, now as for the description on the website, and even if a person has gone to Germany or Poland, they know it has more of pepper, more of lime and garlic, and it's bang on because this is lean muscle which we are tasting right now. Can we guess it's a chicken or a pork? Well, this is pork. I, I can tell you this is pork. Nice and salty. Nice bit of char on the sausage. But, yeah, this is a pork sausage and it's really, really good on the palate. Yeah. There's a lot you of pepper You can get a hint of pepper from it. But what you're looking at is a pork sausage that you will really, really enjoy. So, we had asked for three more dishes and they weren't having time to prepare it and they took 20 minutes more to actually give the serving. So you can imagine the demand here right now. People are actually waiting for their food. And this is just not one counter here. There are several other counters too. But because they are serving German, that's why you have more people standing there. Two glasses of beer, and with that sweat, <laughs> we actually got this now. And this is Frankfurter. Now, if you guess this, this doesn't look like pork here, but yes, it's chicken. So we're gonna taste that. This is a chicken sausage, uh, Frankfurters, because originated in Frankfurt, so hence the name Frankfurters. Eh? Pretty obvious, right? So let's give it a taste test, okay? 
quite soft. Nice. The nice. fat outside was quite crispy, so you can actually feel that when you're breaking it, you're tearing it, and you can see it's not that, you know, soft. But inside, it's quite soft, and you have that taste of a proper frankfurter. The experience was quite different because this was a fest, and October fest that way is quite unique. If you have to match it with German standard. Indians, yes, we did enjoy because we had not only the music from the West, but we also had our own music. But to top it up, their beers, of course, they had made it niche as per the German taste. But when we looked at the crowd, they were enjoying like full throttle. If you look at the whole experience in the video, people were just enjoying. Correct. I mean, uh, it is a niche experience. Uh, might not be everyone's cup of tea. We have to say it. But uh, someone wants to get a taste of German culture. Someone wants to see some uh, German expats, you know, uh, experiencing uh, a taste of their own country in, in our fair city. I, yeah. I think you know that is for something uh, for everyone to experience. True. Um, it, it is a little pricey. Uh, we have to kind of say that you know the food, the alcohol that you would consume is a little high priced. But it's it's a good experience True. for someone to have if they're looking to kind of get a glimpse of those kind of cultures. You you see this kind of uh, you know uh, atmosphere when you travel into Europe, when you travel into especially East, uh, you know Germany and uh, those regions of the world. But you have a flavor of that in our very own Mumbai. You have communal yeah. tables. You have people dancing on the tables. Oh, you have people. Amazing. You have people making towers of out of the empty yeah. beer glasses that they've consumed. So the spirits were definitely high. We should say that. The the food part, if if we're looking at to you know uh, conclude on the food part, we did had you know especially what we call here sausages, you know or hot dog you can say, they had different tastes because uh, it's it's more of German style. Uh, but uh, the best part was when you stand at the counter, people were actually standing there in queue to to eat that food, and it was almost like on an average. Yeah, we, we, we have to kind of uh, say something, yeah. right? Because uh, there were multiple counters. There were Indian uh, cuisine dishes. There were German cuisine dishes, and the German cuisine dishes really got over because yeah, people were flocking towards it. Yeah. You know, so you can imagine that there is an inquisitiveness, there is a curiosity about this kind of culture, this kind True. of cuisine in in people's minds. So these kind of events that are organized, you know, by the Indo-German Chamber of Commerce, by by the Consulate of Germany in in Mumbai. Uh, you know these kind of events do feed into that kind of curiosity. True. So it's a good, good kind of an event. It happens probably once every year. So it's something to experience. I should True. say that. And the timing was quite crisp. You know, if you look at the experience, three o'clock till ten o'clock, people are here, and it's a time where people can actually enjoy and then move on for their work tomorrow. And <laughs> that's that's the best part here because. There are a lot of people who would not like to party till late night. I, I, I'm sure a lot of people will be yeah. calling in sick today, being a Sunday, tomorrow being a Monday. A lot of people are going to be hang, yeah. uh, hungover. They were selling uh, something that was a hangover cure. Yeah. But you know that's that's probably a good note for us to end on. Uh, you know we we have to sign off from here. Uh, please please if you did like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more such videos from us in the future. Right, signing off from October 5th. This is Sushil.